Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today I'm going to pose the simple question. Is this sampling ring worth it? You've seen it before, I'm sure, but maybe you haven't really thought too much about what it's doing. Now, since you're watching this on YouTube, I just want to quickly mention that if you like these videos, there are literally hundreds more at my website, ControlPaint.com. They're free, there's no catch. I just have more of them on my website and not as many on YouTube. So I encourage you to check it out. Now this sampling ring is the default setting. Whenever you have the brush tool active, like I do here, if I hold down Alt and I switch my tool temporarily to the eyedropper, what you see is a gray ring and then a top half and a bottom half, each of which have their own color. Now my assumption here is that the gray is isolating the color visually so you can kind of get a neutral impression. The better question then is what are those two colors? And are they useful? Now you notice if you hold and drag, the top color, which is the what you're about to switch to, will change in real time. So it's almost like a magnifying glass for kind of selecting the correct color. And then once you let go of Alt, you have that selected. So the two colors are the previous color on the bottom and the soon to be new color on the top. My question to you is, are these two colors ever useful to compare to one another? Let's say what I wanted to do was to paint a slightly brighter color on this tabletop, like I, I accidentally made it a little too dim. What I would do in my workflow is to select the current color, and then I would open the color picker. And right now here you can see this bottom half is the current color, and now I can freely make changes. So what I've done here is I have selected some part of my image and now I'm selecting a new color that is not on my image. And that's the important part. I want to add a lighter value to this tabletop that is nowhere in my image. And I can compare the two, new versus current. And I can say, yeah, that's about as much lighter as I want it. So I say, okay. And then I paint it down. How would this sampling ring help me get this new color? Because when we're painting, that's what we're doing, is we're comparing the color that's already on the canvas to the next color we want to paint. What it's comparing is I'll select this tabletop color, and then I'll select this orange color, and it compares those two to each other, the last color I sampled and then the current color I'm sampling. When you paint, you never actually care about that. I can't think of a single scenario when I would care sampling between one color on my canvas versus another color that's also on my canvas. No, I'm almost always wanting to paint down a new color. So just to show the demonstration again, let's say I want to make the shadow a little darker and maybe a little bluer. First, I will select the current color. Then I'll open the color picker. And then I'll make it a little darker and a little bluer. We can see that it's comparing the color that I'm going to be painting it right on top of and then the one I'm considering adding, which, by the way, is nowhere else on the canvas. It's only here in the color picker. If I think that the comparison's about right, I say OK, and then I paint it down. So then why is the default behavior to have this big ring that compares two of the last colors you've sampled? I can't think of a single reason, but I can definitely say it's big and distracting. If you watch many videos on YouTube, you'll probably see speed painting videos with this kind of sped up flickering color picking happening. And that just means that they are using the eyedropper tool to sample colors. My hunch is they're not actually getting any utility out of this big ring itself. So unless you have a very compelling argument for why you use the sampling ring, I'll make your life a little easier. What you need to do is go over to the toolbar, pick the eyedropper tool, and then at the Properties panel on the top of the screen, just unclick this default. Show Sampling Ring. Now it is unchecked. I go back to the Brush tool. And now I can sample to my heart's delight. And nothing pops up on screen. No clutter, no distraction, no sampling ring. Now I suppose this is a bold statement. And if you strongly disagree, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. But my guess is you just haven't thought too much about it because it's the default. So hopefully this has given you just one more thing to get out of the way and just to focus on your painting. Have fun. Thanks for coming to the site.